Sonic Hedgehog. No, 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 not that one. Today, we will be talking about the Sonic Hedgehog signaling pathway, which is a regulator of cell proliferation. Um, so, the Sonic Hedgehog signaling pathway is uh, a pretty important one that we don't know a lot about, but we do know that it has a role in embryo development. So, like, um, the formation of your fingers, for example, that's what digits are, if you were wondering. Um, it also has a role in the development of, su of some cancers, such as basal cell carcinoma. And it was first discovered in flies, but since then, three variations have been found, two of which are found in humans. Uh, Desert Hedgehog, Indigo Hedgehog, I believe, and Sonic Hedgehog. And it's called Hedgehog because it looks like a hedgehog? I don't know, you judge for yourself. Without further ado, let us dive into the pathway. So let's just examine it on an outside level without Sonic Hedgehog. So we see uh, there's patched one, it's a membrane, a membrane protein, and through a certain mechanism that I will go into later, it is stopping the smoothened protein from entering the cell membrane. Um, and it might seem totally unrelated, but inside the cell, uh, a protein known as SUFU is inhibiting a transcription factor known as GLI by binding to it and creating a complex. And in these complexes, GLI is then phosphorylated by kinases. Um, this phosphorylation then marks it to be um, cleaved by proteasomes. And this cleaved CLI is then able to enter into the nucleus um, and block the traditional GLI targets, which are usually growth-related. So as we can see, without the sonic hedgehog, which inhibits the patched, um, GLI, the cleaved GLI is able to block such targets. Now let's examine it a little more closely. So patched one inhibits smoothened by way of the regulation of the concentration of these things called oxysterols. Um, I'm not going to go into the chemical meaning of this, but essentially um, patched one keeps the oxysterol concentration low such that smoothened must, um, <clears throat> smoothened is unable to enter the membrane. However, um, when, uh, when sonic hedgehog enters the picture, then oxysterol concentration builds up near smoothened such that smoothened is now able to enter into the cytoplasm, not into the cytoplasm, into the cell membrane. Meanwhile, patched one can fall into uh, the cytosol to be cleaved by proteasomes and rendered inactive. Now, with this active smoothened, it then works in conjunction with this other surface, uh, this other cell membrane protein called KIF7, um, in order to cleave, in order to separate the SUFU and GLI complexes, such that GLI is free, that rhymed, <laughs> um, but yeah, so GLI as a transcription factor is now able to do its job and enter into the nuclear membrane and activate its targets. Um, some of its targets include cyclin D1, which pushes the cell through the G1S cycle by way of E2F, so I can go into that entire pathway but that would take a little too much time. So, in, to conclude, sonic hedgehog inhibits smoothen, smoothen inhibits patch, patch one activates KIF7, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's easier to see this in a large pathway that I created myself. It's lovely, isn't it? You can pause to look at it more. Thanks for watching.